the the ben best benefit of PRP is that it's relatively very uh, simple and safe for the patient. All it really requires is a uh, tube of blood to be drawn from the patient, which can be drawn by a nurse or a physician, um, and then it's spun down in a centrifuge, which basically isolates out the cells, and then re-injected in the patient either a concentration of the serum, which is the fluid in blood, with the platelets, or you can actually make a um, gelatinous type material that you can then use as uh, um, insert structurally into the area to try and aid in the healing. But it's very safe for the patient. It's using the patient's own blood, just giving them back to the patient, um, and it doesn't require uh, too much complex uh, techniques or, or, uh, or things like that. Does it happen all in one visit, or is it this across multiple visits? It is done in all in one visit. It's it's a relatively simple uh, procedure. Just basically, as I said, drawing off the blood, spinning it down, and putting it right back in the patient. Uh, it's generally it takes about uh, anywhere between ten and twenty minutes to spin the blood, but it's not something you'd come back uh, a couple of days later and do it. It's always done all at once. Now, is a single treatment usually sufficient, or do you, sometimes you need multiple therapies? Uh, typically, a single treatment is, uh, is all that's usually used. Um, it just basically happens once. It's not one of those things where you'll keep coming back for more and more PRP over and over again. It's just used once, and then you basically see the results. It either aids in the healing or, um, or may not aid in the healing in certain circumstances. How long does it usually take for the patient to start experiencing the, the benefits of the therapy? And that's the, those are the biggest questions, the biggest problems that we have with PRP right now. There's a lot of excitement about it, and a lot of surgeons are essentially jumping on the bandwagon and trying to use it, and a lot of patients are asking for it because they hear about athletes such as Heinz Ward that have had these injections, and it seems to be the new thing. But uh, you need to have some cautious optimism when dealing with things such as PRP. We don't have a lot of clinical research done yet. Uh, we know that the platelets are filled with growth factors and these will aid in the healing process. But how much of a difference does that make? In which cases is it really useful and in which cases is it not really even needed? These are things that time and research will play out over, um, over the upcoming years. A lot of studies are uh, undergoing, including studies that we're doing here at the University of Chicago, to try and determine exactly how effective is PRP and what cases is it best used for. But that remains to be seen. So how soon a patient might uh, see benefits from the PRP really depends on the specific injury as well as the effectiveness of PRP that we have yet to try and delineate. How about side effects? Have any been observed thus far with the therapy? Generally speaking, it's very safe. Um, all it is, as, as I said, all it is is just taking the patient's blood, spinning down the platelets, and putting them back into the patient. Uh, I guess that there, because you're taking the blood out of the patient, there would be a very, very small risk of infection, but nothing higher than the risk of surgery anyway. So that's one of the reasons why it's being used by many surgeons across the country is because the risks are very low. As a therapy that's still experimental, uh, what is the situation with insurance covering it or the cost related to uh, the therapy? The cost of the procedure using of adding PRP to a procedure that's already being done or just doing PRP is around $500. That's uh, basically the main cost is for the equipment that's, uh, that the product companies make that actually spin the fluid down and are able to isolate out the platelets. Um, whether insurance comp covers it is a little bit of uh, kind of a case-by-case -case basis, needs room to, to be delineated out uh, more specifically. Um, there are plenty of cases where insurances have covered for it, but it's not run-of-the-mill enough yet where insurances will routinely cover for it. It needs to really be approved on a case-by-case -case basis.